my friends. Hello and welcome to the final spooky Toberfest. I am sure you will find it <coughs> surprising. So here is Esmeralda, pretty much finished up and on her base. Um, as you see the base, I just gave a couple of dry brushes to and then applied more of my best friend in the world at the moment, the uh, <laughs> purple glaze to it to make the whole thing sort of have a sort of very purpley hue, which, if you've not guessed so far with all the Esmeralda videos I've done so far, has been my sort of intent to unify the mini. Um, all the gold is simply Balthazar gold with some shiny, shiny gold, burnished gold. Let me just check. Anyway, mostly Balthazar gold, which, by the way, I think is just awesome. If there's one new paint that I rate more than any other from the new uh, GW paint range, it's definitely that Balthazar gold. And it's actually burnished gold from the old range. I do have some of the other new layer paint gold. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but as I've still got some burnished gold, I'll be using that. Other than that, you can see I've done a little bit of the gem there. That just needs some uh, gloss varnish on. And then she's finished. I've had a lovely time painting her. I did foolishly think that in the space of a month, I might get more than one mini painted. Well, more than one Spookytoberfest mini painted, I mean. Obviously, I've had my talons and stuff to do. But, you know, such is life being a grown-up. Here's our old friend uh, Necromancer Frank too, who I did finish during Spooky Toberfest. So these are the two minis I finished. I hope you've enjoyed my Spooky Toberfest videos. There's more, less spooky, more tank-based and more unexpected-based things um, coming up quite soon in the next couple of days. So I guess uh, I'll play you out and let Esmeralda say bye. Goodbye, viewers. Thank you for all the screaming fun. I'll see you next year.